Wow, this is the fifth American arrested in Turks and Caicos for ammunition in their bags. Like, when you go travel to a different nation, you may want to look up, you know, their laws on stuff. As well as make sure, you know, your bags doesn't have anything in it that that other nation would consider illegal. Uh, for Turks and Caicos, uh, they have a stiff penalty for people having illegal guns and ammunition. When you go there, make sure your bags doesn't have any guns or ammunition. And, again, look up the laws of other nations before you travel there so you don't end up breaking their laws. Just because you're an American doesn't mean you're going to be protected by, you know, the laws of the United States. American woman arrested in Turks and Caicos after police there say a few rounds of ammunition were found in her luggage. She's now telling her story as she is detained in the country. And Morgan Norwood is following this one. And Morgan, this seems to be happening more and more. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. And to your point, in fact, Sharita Greer is the fifth American arrested on Turks and Caicos for ammunition in their luggage all within recent months. She has since been released, but she is still stuck on the islands this morning. She says she is in shock and had no idea those bullets were in her bag. How did she not know that she had ammunition in her bag? Like, don't you check your luggage before you leave? Aren't you checking your luggage as you pack them? Like, how does that happen? You would think after the first person to get arrested here for ammunition that, you know, other people traveling to this nation would be more cautious about having ammunition in their luggage. This morning, a Florida mom speaking out for the first time after she was jailed on the islands of Turks and Caicos, accused of bringing bullets in her luggage. Sharita Greer talking with ABC affiliate WFTV. He searched the bag and said he found um, two rounds in the bottom of my duffel bag, carry on. Greer was on her way home from a Mother's Day trip with her daughter last weekend when officials say they found two rounds of ammunition at the bottom of her suitcase. I didn't know what was going to happen because I couldn't believe they was in there. Greer is the fifth American in recent months to be arrested under a strict new amendment to a law already on the books in Turks and Caicos. It calls for up to 12 years in prison for anyone found in possession of illegal guns or ammunition. Brian Hagrick and Ryan Watson arrested and charged under that same law this year. They're still on the island awaiting sentencing. They say they spoke to Sharita at the police station this week. That we were completely shocked. Part of our goal for all of this was to not have somebody else have to go through the situation that we've gone through. And unfortunately, here we are again talking about this yet again with now a fifth American. And Greer was released on a $15,000 bond. She can't leave the island until her case is complete. She also must report to the police station every week. Her next court date is set for July. But with the U.S. State Department continues to remind Americans to check their luggage before heading to